The competition saw 12 groups of young developers acquire coding skills from meters from Kenya, South Africa and Uganda. The winning team comprised of four students from Akira University and one US dollars 150 for their mobile app that will help government achieve its sustainable development goals while US dollars 100 and US dollars 75 was won by the second and third teams respectively. We have been able to see solutions that are in maternal health, we've been able to see solutions that are in lands, we've been able to see solutions that are focused on public transport and making it more efficient within the African region. And what we are delighted is these solutions are not only for Uganda, but it's solutions that can be able to be taken on and replicated to other African countries. You can choose our own price, private, and uh, the solution that we came up with was uh, an intelligent uh, application that is intended to be used by the government to form uh, more decisions. Masha Reddy, a calling expert with Where Is My Transport in Cape Town, South Africa, was one of the mentors of the competition. One of your projects that you had, you very correctly identified that you're not going to be able to win this game by yourself. We need to partner with. Um, certain parts of government or partner with banks or partner with NGOs, something like that. He can help you on that part. The code sprint focuses on building open source geo solutions which can be used in developing countries. Report by Joseph Omagori for Aban TV.